So today we're going to be testing our blood levels. We've got these Gyroscope X home kits here. And uh, have you tested your blood lately, Ollie? Not for a while, no. And uh, this is the first time I can do the Gyroscope X one as well, because right now it's currently available to all US users, right? It is, yeah. So Ollie is visiting uh, the US for a week, so we're going to do the test. And it's been three, four months since I've done mine as well, so <clears throat> we're going to see how it's changed. So we just woke up. Uh, like an hour ago, and we need to do this uh, in the morning for some of the blood levels to be accurate since they go on a circadian rhythm. We need to take the sample card here, and it's got the sample, and basically put four drops of blood on each square. And then you let it dry and you mail it back. So it's pretty much that simple. Um, and then, importantly as well, then all your results automatically get uploaded into Gyroscope, right? Yeah, it's pretty fast. It depends where you are, but it just gets mailed back and gets processed in a few days. And yeah. then all your blood levels show up in the app so you can see them there with your history. And then probably most importantly, your AI coaches also see that. So then they can use that to tailor your recommendations and tell you what to do. Okay, so you open up, so once you open up the box, you get these leaflets, you've got the instructions right there. Rinsing hands in warm water, doing jumping jacks, some kind of movement as well that's gonna get your blood uh, flowing. We do have this very suspect looking contraption here, which is a finger pump, finger right? Pump. Finger pump, also... fingers only. Yeah, fingers only, which is gonna bring, which is gonna help bring the uh, bring the blood to the end of the, uh, the finger as well. So probably probably cheap uh, cheap code to use that. Yeah. Clean the middle. So next one, clean your middle or ring finger with the alcohol pad. If any of you guys have done home blood tests before, which I'm sure many of you have, you'll probably be quite familiar with all of this. Twist off the lancet cap. So alcohol wipe, and then yeah, I've actually got my other lancet here, but it comes with a few different lancets here. You want, it's you need a quite a bit of blood, so it's more than your typical glucose draw. But the deep, the blue lancet is deep and that's going to bring a lot more blood out and then you've got the shallow lancets for the more experienced blood givers. Yeah, and it really, it's, it does help I think to do some exercise before because I've had it sometimes it's really easy to get blood out and other times you're like sitting there for 10 minutes like struggling. So um, I'm going to try this pump thing which we just got that is a new, new add-on and you can see my finger is really kind of getting quite... Really pulling the blood out. I feel it right now. <laughs> and that should give me some decent blood flow too. Um, Just push into it. Yeah. Cool. Oh, you did a deep one? I did a deep one, yeah. Wow. All right. I think I put enough. So basically now, these these squares are filled up and it's going to go across to here and there's a line here basically that shows that it's uh, got enough so once <clears throat> once the red hits the first line then you've got enough then you basically need to wait for a few hours as it dries but what are some of the things that we measure in here so we obviously do the, the normal things we measure cholesterol yeah cholesterol, yeah, cholesterol is a big one well so the basic cholesterol test that was made a long time ago was like hdl and H ldl yeah um but which so we do as well which still. which is part of that um yeah. and it's it's interesting to see those um but the more more potentially important one for your longevity and heart disease risk that's more precise is your ApoB yeah. levels, which Peter Tia's new book is basically all about, you know, why ApoB is uh, important for reducing your heart attack risk. And um, But, you know, everyone talks about it, but there's not really easy ways to, to check it. So that's one of the main ones here. And what else? There's um, some more uh, daily things, your hormone levels, mm -hmm. more things like testosterone, cortisol, um, that go up and down in the day and see how you're doing there. And then what else? There is your glucose and insulin levels. Mm -hmm. So HbA1c. So we've been manually tracking our glucose, you know, randomly this week. But with your A1c, it's basically like continuous monitoring for three months, and you see your average levels there. Cool. Um, so that's a good snapshot to see, like, okay, are you actually pre-diabetic? Have your glucose been high all mm -hmm. all month, or is it actually pretty low? Well? as well most of the time so cool
So yeah. So that's that. Drive cap X, uh, drive cap blood test kit, hand test kit, and uh, yeah, let's see. So we've got like two, three days now, right? So we're gonna post it off today, and then we've got a couple of days, two, three days, and then it'll be in the app. Right. And uh, we'll check it out. See how we do. All right. Yeah. All right, we've got the blood test here. So we're gonna put it in the mailbox. Sent. Hey guys, so back in the UK now, but I did the gyroscope blood test as you saw, and I just want to explain and show you what happens once you've done that. So you do the test as you've seen in this video already, and then you post off your uh, sample to the lab. Then a few days later, you will receive notification that the results are ready. They'll be uploaded to the website, but they'll also be drawn automatically into the gyroscope app. <clears throat> And then to see them, all you need to do is go into your health tab and then you want to scroll down until you come until you see blood, press blood, that will open up the drop down menu and you can see your blood levels are there for you to look at. Then if you keep on scrolling down in this tab, you will come to your longevity coach. And if you click on organs or press organs, you can look at your neurological health, your cardiovascular health and your metabolic health. This is going to take into account your data and also your blood level results. And it's going to give you a summary about each area. It's going to tell you some of your risks, giving give you some insights. So we recommend that you try and update your blood levels or blood reports every three to six months. And then you can just work to try and to, uh, work and try and improve on some of the trends or levels that you want to try and improve on. And obviously, if anything really serious flags up, take it to the doctor, get a physician to look at it and take it from there.